What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. So I'm actually at the Capri Oasis built by uh, Philly Invest in Pasig. I'm here today to check out a two bedroom unit. I believe it's 18,000 pesos for the rent, but uh, I'll have to verify that and I'll also have to verify the square meters, but we should have, uh, I should have an answer for you here soon. So yeah, excited to check out this place, let's do it. Right here we have the kiddie pool and the actual pool. And uh, over there, they just have places where you can sit. I'm currently uh, shooting this from the clubhouse, but yeah, the pool's nor neither big nor small. Uh, this place is a low rise condominium complex. I believe there's five floors per building, multiple buildings. And uh, yeah, it's quaint, it looks peaceful, and it so far looks pretty nice. So I can't wait to see more of the amenities and the actual unit. Okay, so here's kind of a vantage point of the clubhouse. It's uh, pretty nice, really outdoorsy. The admin area is right that way. They have uh, public restrooms for men right here. And then uh, adjacent on this side, they have some for the ladies. Uh, let's go upstairs and see what we find. Okay, I'm at the top of the clubhouse right now. So just checking out, looks like they have a little, like a bar area for uh, get togethers and gatherings and stuff like that. Looks like a really nice basketball court, blue and green. Very beautiful basketball court. Looks really well maintained. So yeah, very nice, very nice kind of gives you a vantage point and a view of what the buildings look like from the outside a lot of them look like they have balconies and uh, yeah just low rise typical condominiums in the peaceful side of Pasig. so we're on level two of the clubhouse let's just kind of proceed forward and see what we find here lots of space to park as you can see balconies very good sized parking spaces so that's helpful kind of just travel this way figure out what's going on looks like a place for events birthday parties perhaps or just maybe chilling out looks like they're cleaning it up from somebody else who had an event recently but just kind of head back downstairs we're currently waiting for the keys to see the unit so hopefully we get those keys soon you can check that out and i'll find out if they also have a fitness center or gym here as well that'll be interesting to see it's a really warm day here in the philippines uh, i've actually been in the clubhouse outside for like uh, an hour hour and a half probably almost two hours. I had one meeting today for 1 p.m., but there was some type of miscommunication for uh, with the owner and uh, the person who showed up didn't actually have keys, so we couldn't even look at the unit. So I was like, okay. So coincidentally, I scheduled another uh, viewing for with a different person today, thank God. So uh, I'm able to actually see a unit and he's currently still waiting for the keys. So uh, yeah, been outside about an hour and a half, two hours now, starting to sweat just a little bit, but I don't mind it much, it's good. Uh, I don't mind the hot weather. Coming from New York, I prefer to be warm if uh, given the choice versus being like freezing cold. But uh, yeah. I'm about to jump in that pool while I'm waiting for the uh, keys to arrive. Seriously, man. <laughs> Looks like this is where you're going to drop off your trash. They've got uh, labeled blue, yellow, and red for biodegradables, recyclables, etc. So that's probably one of the trash drop off locations. Okay, so we're in the process of um, getting into the unit. I don't know if the key is allowing us to get in. <laughs> But I am greeted with a beautiful breeze and uh, from this hallway and I, I have a general good positive feeling about this place. Uh, it feels very peaceful and relaxing here. And we're still connected to the greater Metro uh, Manila Metro Manila area being Pasig. So I'll show you what I'm looking at. It actually is quite peaceful, I think. I think we got the door open. Can't wait to check this out. Okay, so when you're around the corner here, this is what you see. And uh, take a look, they got some solar panels right here. That reminds me of Arizona seeing a red roof with solar panels. That's kind of funny. And then, uh, but yeah, it's uh, the breeze is probably what's making me feel so good. <laughs> There's like a beautiful breeze in this hallway. It's very, very quiet. So that feels nice. That feels, that feels good. Just being honest, just, but yeah. Just kind of showing you a little bit more what we're looking at. So this is like right over here. So this unit is also for sale. Okay, so this unit is for rent. Uh, it is 18,000 pesos a month, and the dues are inclusive in that 18,000 pesos. And it's for sale for 3.7 million pesos. It's also for sale. And uh, so as we enter, a little bit of an echo, which is cool, echo. But uh, yeah, good sized living room, hardwood floors, gray and white paint. And uh, we'll take a right right here. Check this out. So windows are small, but it does add to the privacy factor. And we'll go in here. This looks like it's about, you know, eight foot by 10 foot, probably 80 square feet bedroom right here, probably 80 square feet. Not sure what that hole is about right there. That's kind of weird. It looks like it goes into the other room. Maybe that's related to uh, cables or something. So checking out this 
looks probably the master space. This looks about like eight by 12 feet, I think. And there's a split AC unit. Oh, that's what the hole is for, in case you want to add a split AC unit. So clearly this one's of course unfurnished, but being that the asking rent inclusive of dues is only 18,000, not including utilities like Wi-Fi, electric and water, and potentially sewer, trash, recyclables, uh, sometimes are, but yeah. Rather modest kitchen, to be honest. Um, not a lot of cabinetry, very, very basic, uh, minimalistic, I would say, to be, uh, you know, gentle. I guess that's space for a washing machine, I would assume. And then uh, swinging over here to the bathroom. So it has a hot water heater in here. It's reasonably good size. It just needs to be cleaned, which is, you know, fair. You could totally update or upgrade this unit. And uh, so it's got a lot of potential. I'm gonna ask the gentleman who is showing me this today what the uh, square meters is. I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna say it's like 45 to 50 square meters, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's like 52. I'm about to, about to ask and clarify. Okay, so it's 44 square meters. So I was pretty close with my estimate. But uh, yeah, the thing about this place is if you're willing to just clean it up, spruce it up, and if putting some furniture in here would definitely reduce that echo, uh, the fact that there's not much in here is causing and creating that echo. But uh, location is nice. I'll have to see about the amenities. There is a kiddie pool. There's a, another pool, uh, that uh, adult pool, I meant to say. The clubhouse and uh, the admin office is right there. Not sure if there's any convenience shops. Not sure yet if there's a gym or fitness center. But uh, definitely have to check that out. One other thing worth noting is this is the master bedroom view. And... I'll let you form your own judgment of what you think of the view. Of course, it's obviously, you know, not very ideal if we're being fair, but uh, yeah, so that's what, the, that's what it is, what you see, what you get. Still a lot of potential in this unit for sure. But yeah, if I was gonna rent this place, you know, I would probably just get it cleaned up, I would deck it out. Definitely some serious cost savings, 18,000 a month, not a lot. If you're gonna buy it for 3.7 million pesos, that's also not a lot. I think that's like, you know, 72,000 US dollars or something. I don't know, I'll, I'll put in the captions what it really is. But uh, yeah, the echo is kind of funny. I feel like I'm in a cave in Pirates of the Caribbean or something, but uh, yo. Anyways, yeah, overall it's a good unit. I think I would give the location a high rating, probably like an eight out of 10. The unit itself with some work, and some effort could definitely be made an eight or a nine out of 10. You just have to do the work. You can make it really nice, but it feels really peaceful. One last thing, the elevator was small because this is a five floor low rise condominium building, but the elevator, I didn't really feel like the elevator had any problems when I rode up it. So there's also stairs. Cool. Yeah, so we're gonna go see if there's any amenities that I missed. One thing I didn't mention in the last video clip was they have a, a nice basketball court that I think that you already saw earlier, of course. So we're gonna see if they have a fitness center or a gym. Okay, so within the clubhouse, they do have a gym. So very minimalistic to have some dumbbells, sort of. Really nice big mirrors though. But yeah, they have one. It's here, it's included. Uh, so what you see is what you get. And uh, yeah, I could knock out some serious chest workouts, but I think I'd be limited to about that. But the basketball court outside I would definitely use. It looks extremely nice. I just bought a new basketball recently, so yeah. Got a folded up ping pong table right here too, so that could be of use. What's up guys, I'm currently in a Starbucks. One quick tip for you, if you are ever having a hard time booking a grab ride based off of where you are, especially if you're in some of these gated communities, you might have a tricky time getting a grab to pick you up. Just walk to the closest city center. Like uh, I usually just put Starbucks into my Google Maps. And I usually find one uh, that's less than a half a mile, like 0.2 miles or 0.5 miles. And then uh, if I'm not able to book a grab within 10 minutes, I'll just walk to that Starbucks and then book a grab as that Starbucks as the pickup point or that city center as the pickup point instead of the gated residential places. And usually get a grab within the first three or four minutes for the Grab Ride app. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog today and 80% of my viewers are currently not subscribed to my channel so thank you to the 20% who are I really appreciate you if you want to become one of the 20 percenters consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this and uh, yeah thanks guys I appreciate so I appreciate you so much and uh, I'm a little tired right now as you can see have a great rest of your day I'll see you on the future vlogs bye for now